Buenos dias, buenos dias, good morning. Let's see, we are currently on a way on Lower Buckeye. No, this is Buckeye, Lower Buckeye. I don't know, this is Buckeye, Lower Buckeye. Anyways, we're heading down to 83rd Avenue. We're gonna meet a few friends here. Uh, we're gonna meet a few friends here and, um, at Love's and we're gonna go for a little ride today. Uh, I also have a review. It's gonna be like a first review that I'm doing. I mean, I've, I've told you about the accessories that I bought, but this is gonna be like a first review. I bought some bags uh, uh, from uh, this company from uh, China. And I have, and I'm gonna do a review on them. I just mounted them this morning. All right, so this is the bag that it comes in, waterproof. And so the one thing is that I believe it wasn't until I saw the video on how to install these that I noticed that they split the size between both bags. So um, it'll be 24 uh, liters, so 24 and 24, and it totals of 48. I thought it was, you know. Each bag was going to be 48, but it's not. That would have been a huge bag. But these are 21 liters, the stock ones. And they work pretty well, but I want something a little, just a little bit bigger. And I wanted something soft. So also the reason why I went, I bought this one is because there was nobody, like I said, uh, I don't know if I said it before, but nobody had them on any motorcycle. And I just saw them on YouTube on the actual... Uh, website or whoever's promoting this stuff, you know what I mean? But no, I haven't seen any like real rider, like, um, uh, you know, all the big names out there that are riding adventure bikes right now. So I'm gonna try it out and, uh, and uh, put it on right now and see how, see how it goes and see how it, the material feels. All right, so, so far the packaging is really nice. They did a really good job. I mean, like I said, this thing comes from China, so a lot of people don't trust things from China, even though we buy everything from China these days. But the packaging, I mean, I can already tell you the feeling is pretty good. For the price, I think the Tusk, which it's actually a really good brand. I do have the bag here, a bag from Tusk, but I believe they were a lot smaller than this and they were like around $200. And those are the ones that I really wanted, but they were too small. And uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and open this up and but like just even over the plastic I can feel that it's actually a pretty good material, but let's open it up I don't know either. I don't know how they go Alright guys, so I usually don't do reviews at all in my channel. Um, this channel is all about riding and having fun and, and sharing my experiences. So, sorry for the camera angle. I don't have... I don't know if I was going to use a GoPro or my phone or anything like that. But, so far... So far, as far as the material goes, for the price, I think I paid 137 bucks and it was free shipping. What sucked was the waiting, obviously, right? Because... I didn't know, but they were like in Chinese New Year uh, vacation over there. And so, so far, just by looking at them and feeling the material, would I buy them again? Honestly, I would buy them again. And they're waterproof already. So this is... I'm gonna mount them right now already. So we already took the uh, side bags off or the, the stock ones. And if you look down, I was expecting a bag in here. You know how the other ones come with a bag and you can throw your stuff and then throw it in here, but it's already waterproof. So I guess it doesn't need it. So let me install them and then I'll show you how they look. Maybe I'm gonna add some stuff in it. All right, so I go, I don't even know the, the name of the city that we're going right now. But I guess we're all riding over there. 
Look at this guy, he looks like a little kid on that thing. <laughs> oh man, that thing's huge. Two, three, four, five, six. There's like eight of us riding right now. Uh, check it out there's a freaking off-road meet right here it's pretty cool oh jeeps do a little pass here show off the motorcycles behind these guys and um, I was worried about the exhaust because I have the stock uh, they're not really racks but these this KLR this model came with a little came with a little um, hold on guys real quick these racks came with a little uh, man you hear those things Woo! That's exciting. So I came with the stock racks for the little baggers that I had, the little uh, panniers. So I put it on top of that. So far, so good. I touched the bag. It is hot from the exhaust. But it's, and that's a KLR. They'll leave you behind right away. Uh, but it doesn't seem like it's hot enough to penetrate or you know melt down the uh, material. So we'll see what happens right now. Uh, this is a long part. It's going to be a while before we stop again. So. Uh, I will check one more time, but so far the bags are doing pretty well. Whoa, 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 whoa. So it's safe to say that I have the slowest bike in the group. <laughs> but it's a lot of fun. I'm not gonna lie. This guy right here is cruising on a freaking Kawasaki like Victory something. I don't know what it's called. And that thing looks like a freaking Cadillac. Anyways, let's put some music on and enjoy the ride. Check out these mountains out here. So we are on the 60, I believe. This is like East Mesa. And um, it's a little windy. More than normal, actually. Looks like it's gonna rain, but we'll see. And these guys are almost pushing it. I'm pinned here on my KLR. I wonder how the bags are doing. Like I said, I have the um, I have the uh, Rhino Walkers on right now. Let me tell you the material. I paid $137 from China. I made a big mistake. Honestly, I want to apologize for the company because I put them on. I didn't put them on blast, but I warned a few people that that the money came out of my transaction, but I didn't get any confirmation. I didn't get no tracking number, and the reason for it was because they were in uh, Chinese New Year, so they were. I guess everybody in China is off for like 11 days. So I think I ordered it like the 20th, then they ship it to like the 28th, and then by the time I went through customs and everything, I finally got him on Thursday. I put him on yesterday. Um, and so far, as far as the material goes, like I said, for the price, $137. I think that was the total. I'm pretty sure. Free shipping, you can't beat it. 
you know if you get a pair of these from like other companies like mosco or uh, giant loop or uh, you're talking five hundred dollars and up you know what i mean and the tusk ones are like 200 but they're a little bit smaller than these these are just a few liters bigger than uh than the ones that um they're a few bigger they're a few liters bigger i think i the stock ones are 21 these are 20 they ended up being like 24 i believe so i mean i'll show you guys what i packed i i didn't i don't need a lot of stuff for uh for this ride but i packed a, a few things just to see how they look you know what i mean it's kind of weird it, uh, to see him without any, you know to see the bike without anything but anyways uh, we're gonna go we're gonna see why this traffic is here maybe because of the light I guess man you know the Super Bowl is that way guys the Super Bowl is that way is the other way around I don't I wasn't expecting to get this kind of traffic but I guess it's because of the light I've only been out here maybe three times I've been offered in here uh, in my Jeep a couple times like twice maybe once and then i don't know we'll see we'll see what goes on i'm thinking it's just because of the light i hope so i hope no accident reminds me of when i was young so we're this is uh well i think it's superior yeah so i think that this is like my second time ever here and let me tell you the views are pretty nice so I don't know if we're gonna do a stop here or not. Um, I forgot the name. I forgot the name of the city that we're going to. But it got cold, man. It dropped. It's like 57 right now. It's windy. Uh, I think it said it was raining up in the Globe, which I'm not sure if we're going. Oh, there we go. We're going to Winkleman. Winkleman, half a mile. That's where we're going. So 177. So I guess that's where the fun starts. So I think we're gonna make a quick stop. It's pretty windy. It's like, wow, quick, talk about a quick stop. That was really quick. Man, this wind is blowing right here. Whew. Man, I think I got, I'm gonna put my other jacket on. It got windy. It got really windy. Like 10 mile an hour winds. Where, uh, where are we going? Winkle Man. Huh? Winkle Man. Uh, yeah, something like that. Nice ride. Is it? I was not there on the motorcycle, just from work delivering. Oh yeah. And that's the steepest hills in the state. No way. I've never been, so the steepest hills. All those uh, copper mines. Yeah, yeah. I've been out here like one time, uh, like maybe three years ago, four years ago. Rescue somebody. Yeah, how to rescue somebody? Yeah. You have to go through all the safety for the mines and stuff. Yeah, I didn't go here a lot, maybe three times. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna use the restroom real quick. I gotta ask that guy what that lens does on the GoPro. I could have I could have probably looked it up, but it's the first guy that I see with it. Whoa, there it is. Alright, let's check out the bags. Check out these bags, guys. They're doing pretty good. This side is doing good. I was worried about this side right here. And the heat. Whoa. Did I put the stand right? Yeah. Man, that wind is blowing. So I was worried about the heat. I gotta fix this. But it's warm. It's just warm and that's it. It doesn't look like it's doing any damage to it. Hopefully you guys can see it on the camera. What's going on, man? Hey, how, how do you like that lens on the GoPro? Yeah. It's my first time using it. All right, let me know. Yeah. Let me know how it works. You're the first guy that I see one with. Yeah. Which you have? Huh? Which you have? Which you go for? The 10? The 10? Yeah, if you want one, we're done with the ride. Uh, if you want to borrow it. Yeah. Yeah, I can 
bar if you want. Yeah, I've never seen the. I don't know what it does. Yeah, it's the Max Mod lens. You know what I mean? So it'll make it like a fishbowl and shit. You know? Ah. Uh, it's all right. I need to put a battery in it. I, I got a. Battery. I got an extra battery if you need to charge it. You got a, you got a, well, I got a, you got two batteries? Yeah, I mean, they fucking don't last anything though, huh? They last like 30, 40 minutes? I got a, that's why I got this one. Oh, oh, okay, that one? Yeah. So I got this other one, it's like a bigger block, and it has, it's supposed to be nine hours, like on the low quality. Uh-huh. So like three more hours on the other one. Yeah, I just put an external battery. Yeah. This one will last maybe, dude, it'll last a long time. Yeah, hours. Hours or days? Hours. Yeah, like at least I can record easy six hours. Six hours. Yeah. On, on high quality? On, yeah, on high quality. 4K. Let me use the restroom real quick. Right. Yeah, it's super windy right now. It's tossing everybody around, except for that big Kawasaki, that 900 pound beast over there. Man, you see that? Woo! You know, there's a Honda, I don't know what it is, but it's a, there's a D, uh, dual, dual clubs, that DTC, whatever. Man, I know all the names, but as soon as I need to speak on camera, I, I forget everything. But anyways, that's a crazy ass motorcycle. Like the tank, it's in the back and you could, so whatever the tank is right here, you can actually open it and put your helmet in there. Pretty cool. For you. Yes, really in Mexican food. So, Vulcan, I believe. Is that what it says? I can't see it from here. And then we got... I don't know. I want to say it's a Yamaha. But I'm not 100% sure. But I know it's a 1000. This one right here is badass. That Tenere. And that's not a, that's a Honda that I was talking about. So if you notice, right where the tank's at, you open it up and then there's a helmet. And um, good ride, it was a good ride. Oh. Let's check out this bag one more time. Uh, it's, it's warm, but it's not. I don't think it's gonna be enough to do any damage to it. Man, these bags are nice for the price. And they look good. This one right here. This is a pretty cool. A Tenere 1200? Oh uh, yeah, 1200. Yeah, I like it. It looks good. You can get them cheap. I don't know. People don't appreciate them. I don't know why. I, I like them. Look at shelf drive, dude. Yeah. Everybody's into that T7. Huh? Everybody's into that T, uh, the, yeah, the, 700. the 700. It depends what you want to do, but if you want to, like me, I do a ton of camping and stuff. It's, when I first seen this bike, it looked so huge to me, but it's because this is so big. But that's actually, it's all air filter and shit. The, the gas is under here. How, how many gallons? Protection, like for your legs and shit? Yeah. How many gallons is it hold? Huh? How many gallons? It holds, uh, I think, 6.5 or something. Nice. So you can carry an extra little fuel bottle, which is, all, which is what I'll do. But that's probably about... I like that. <laughs> uh, ...range. You do a lot of camping? Yeah. A lot of camping. Motorcycle adventure. Nice. That's the plan with mine. That's the plan with yours? Yeah. I want to do a lot of camping. Tons of camping, dude. Where do you go? Where do you, what's your favorite? Oh, you go here or you go out? I go everywhere. I go up into Colorado, New Mexico. I go all over Arizona, Utah. All right, just so you guys can take a look at these, uh, these bags, these rhino, rhino bags here. That's how they look. We have one strap right here. I guess I can tie them down a little bit. And then the buckles go around here. These are pretty nice. Another strap right here. 
and uh, let me go around here. And as you can see, the second one over here, it's actually, they actually, they look, they look really nice. I, I like them. So far, so good. Would I buy them again? Yeah, I think I would. I think I would buy them again. So yesterday I was a little worried about the exhaust being getting hot. You can see how the color changes here from the heat. And I was worried that the space, I don't know if you guys can see here. I was worried about the space. Maybe this will get hot, but uh, no. And I rode yesterday quite a bit. I mean, I did I don't know, probably 200 miles and it got pretty hot. It was warm, but not enough to make any damage. And I'll show you guys. Uh, so I didn't need to take anything yesterday, but I, but I filled it up with some stuff just so they can, so that you, you know, so you can see the, because if not, if you don't put anything in them, they're going to be flat, obviously, right? So I put some stuff in them and I'll show you how much stuff you can fit real quick. So this is with the, uh, the once you open the bag up right here, and I'll try to, so I have, let me see if I can, so I have a pillow. Like I said, I just filled it up just to see how much stuff I can put in there. I have mattress. I have another mattress. Some propping. And then down there, I believe I have, oh, I forgot what that is, but I mean, that was it. <laughs> That's how you can fit. Well, not technically true. I mean, if you organize your stuff, you could probably fit a lot more. Maybe do instead of two, instead of three, maybe two rolls before you lock them up. But if you don't have anything, let me see if I can fold it up and see how it looks if you don't have anything in there. So this is how it would look if you don't have anything on there. I mean, I don't know. I wonder if that would, I guess I would have to tighten all these straps real good. You know, you well, actually you have to make up for the slack now. So you would have to put this away or you could just take them off. I mean, the only thing holding them was th this one strap right here and this one strap right here. That's the only thing that's holding them because once you have the size that you need for your bike and believe me, this goes wide. So you can have a rack that's out here and you're still gonna be able to put these on. Um, once you take those four straps off, like I said, one right here and this one right here, you can remove this whole thing. Um, check it out on this side. I think I put a few sweaters in here. Let's see. So I have waterproof. I got another sweater just in case. Like I said, I was trying to fill it up with stuff. I had water yesterday. And uh, I got another canteen of water. Or... And then I had another jacket in here. So these are pretty big jackets. And it's empty now. So it's pretty, I think you can see, but I mean, it's, it's big. And not to mention, uh, say you are going to go on a big trip. Yesterday, I, I mean, we're going to be pretty much close to every city there is. And uh, so if you really think about it, yesterday, if you say you're going on a big camping trip or something like that, you still got your rack. You can still put stuff in it if you have another, 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 um, you know, I don't know, hard shell, hard, whatever you want to call it, those little containers that everybody carries. I'm telling you, when I'm doing videos, I forget the names, but you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. And then you still have your passenger you still, you would still have your passenger um, space, so you can still have your, like I have a tusk bag, like I'll show you real quick. All right, just to give you guys an idea, if you have the rhino bags, say you're gonna go camping or something, if you have the rhino bags and you fill it up with whatever you have, you have the other rack here, the one that you're gonna use for whatever, you know, those ones that you, people put on, 
And then on top of that, if you have a bag like this one, you can set it probably somewhere around here and you're still gonna have plenty of space. You guys get the idea. If you guys can't fit what you're taking in right here, there's three bags and, a, and an extra one back there. I mean, you can even just set that right there, or set it here and you guys would be good. I mean, I know I am. So Jamie, I hope this review helps. Honestly, for the price, these are not bad. Um, they're not bad at all. They're actually pretty nice. The design is good. The material is good. I don't think you can do any better for the price. I, I believe these at night, these reflect. Uh, thank you for subscribing to the channel. And uh, I suck at reviews, so I hope this one works for you. And uh, I hope it helps out in making your decision about whether you want to buy them or not. Um, I would. You know what I mean? Even if I dropped it, even if I dropped my motorcycle and it ripped or something, I wouldn't mind ordering another one at all. I haven't... I mean, they're solid, dude. They're solid. They really are. You know? They're really, really solid. Anyways, thank you for watching. I think I'm going to do a part two on that video that I'm, I was uploaded, that I uploaded today. Uh, and just do a few, like, scenic routes or whatever, the areas that we went. I'm still practicing. I'm still getting better at the editing part. And uh, thank you guys for watching. And I uh, hope this review helps.